are some of the main differences this year and where you were this time last year? Just mentally, way more ahead than where I was last year and having a season of experience, just having more confidence, I think, going out there and going up against our guys and just having that confidence. Coach Sweeney was telling us the other day that everyone's competing for a job. Do you still have that mentality when you come out here that you have to compete for the job, or do you just feel like as a leader, as what you did last year, it's your job? No, I mean, I feel, I feel the same way he does. You got to compete for it. Everyone's got to earn it every year. You know, nothing carries over like he says. And, you know, a thing for me is I, I want to be the best guy every day when I come out here. So that's just something personally that I want to do. So I want to, you know, earn it every day. How sure. different it's for you this year being that now you are the number one guy and also last year you were kind of the, the raw freshman coming in trying to learn things. It's a lot different, you know, having a year of experience, like I said, and then just knowing all the guys, having that relationship, and uh, also kind of being able to lead the younger guys that just came in. It's, it's pretty cool. Trevor, how have these two months been? I mean, winning the national championship is a pretty unbelievable thing. Yeah. How has it been for you these, these few weeks? It's been good. It's been, uh, it's been different, you know. Just things are a little different now. I'm just, it's like a whole new platform after winning a national championship. I think it is for, it's like that for a lot of the guys, but you know, it's an adjustment, but it's been really good. And it's just, it's cool to get back out here and uh, start practicing again. Have you heard from anybody, did you hear from anybody unbelievable who you thought, wow, now this is, this is something amazing? Not really, no. No, none of that <laughs> no. kind of stuff. No. How did you handle, I mean, there were a, plenty of people who were saying, you know what, this guy needs to stop playing in college and spend the next two years preparing for the NFL. What, what did you do with that? Did you even listen to it or pay any attention to it? Nothing. I mean, yeah, everyone's talking about that, but I mean, I don't really care about that. It's not, you know, it's definitely not coming from me, all that stuff. So it's just kind of ignore it and just keep working. Trevor, do you have to think twice before you go some places in public now that you might be mobbed or something, and, or do you just keep doing the same thing? Yeah, I mean, you just have to be ready going out. Uh, it's a little different than it used to be, so just... You know, got to be ready to you know take pictures, talk to people, and be real social when you go out. You can't just go out and kind of be by yourself and do your own thing. So I think it's just picking and choosing those spots of when you want to do that. Who do you lean on that's gone through that before, if anyone? <sighs> um, I mean, I feel like a bunch of the guys on the team deal with similar stuff, so we can talk to each other and kind of help each other out. Then when I came in, guys like Christian and Cleland and all those guys kind of helped me out. Just they, I could see how it was for them coming in, and uh, it's kind of turned into that a little bit for me. So uh, it was cool to see how they handled everything and kind of learn some things from them. How different is it without having those guys here this year? It's a lot different. Uh, makes it a little easier on me in practice, but uh, <laughs> I miss those guys a lot. And uh, I mean, we'll, we'll be fine. Guys are going to step up, and we got a bunch of good players, a bunch of good young players. So, you know, we'll fill the spots, but uh, definitely miss having those guys there. You, know, you can't really explain what they mean to a program and just as far as obviously they're great players but also the people and leaders they are is, is pretty amazing. Trevor, what are your first impressions of Tyson and um, having just gone through that process as a freshman last year, how much does that help you to bring him along? Yeah, I mean he's a really good player, really athletic, uh, can throw the ball well. He's still trying to learn everything just like I was last year. So it's, uh, I feel like I can help him in that aspect of, you know, I went through the same thing last year and I know it was, it was kind of tough at times. So just trying to help him learn, and but he's been, he's been doing great. What, what are some of the things that you want to work on this spring to kind of improve yourself? Just learning more, like just the little ins and outs of the offense. I want to know everything that everyone's doing. I mean, I do for the most part, but uh, knowing every little detail of what people are doing and also being able to, you know, have more freedom as far as changing stuff in the line of scrimmage or whatever I need to do just because I know more and I can see what the defense is doing. I want to work on that. And then just little things like footwork and uh, just timing and all that stuff with the receivers. The three freshmen, what are your thoughts on those guys? They're really good. All the freshmen are really good. I mean, we got 17, I think 17 mid-years, so they're really impressive. I mean, those receivers especially, I get to see them up close and them and Tyson, those are who I'm with the most, but uh, they're, they're really good. They're going to be really good. I mean, Joe and Brandon and Frank, all of them are really good players. Has it been kind of weird for you not to see Hunter Rempro out there in practice? Yeah, I mean, it's, it is weird because I only played with him for a year, but just seeing him here for those four years, it felt like he was here forever and then looking out there, he's not there. So it's, it's a little different. And, you know, Amari's working five man, DK, Cornell, a bunch of those guys are, they've been doing a really good job, but definitely it's different not having Hunter out here. Was he a security blanket for you? Uh, I mean, he's just so reliable. So I guess you could say in a sense, I mean, we had we had a lot of stuff that we did just because he was such a good player that we used him a lot. So, um, but like I said, just so reliable, really smart. You know, the next level, whoever gets him is gonna is in for a treat just because he's a you know, he's a great dude and he's just really smart and plays the game well. What does Amari bring different to that position now that he's gonna be playing it? Um, I think 
top end speed, Amari's faster, and he brings that to the table. And really quick out of his breaks, which Hunter was too. But you know they're different. But um, I think he's going to do a great job. Given the success you had last year, uh, how are you going to embrace that challenge of living up to those expectations this year? I think. You know, the only expectations that you really need to focus on are the ones you, you have for yourself and then also just the team has for, for the team as a whole. So just trying to block out all the expectations that other people put on us because this is, I mean, it's a different team and people are going to say, you know, we're not going to be as good this year. People are going to expect us to do, you know, a lot of great things too. So I think just blocking that out and just staying true to who we are and what our goals are is going to be really important. You mentioned having a new platform now. What are you going to do with it? Uh, hopefully use it for good. I mean, it's... Uh, you know, it's, it's just crazy anywhere I go. Uh, just all the people that come up to me and, you know, talk to me and uh, just, just want to talk. So it's cool having that platform. Uh, it can be a lot if you're not, you know, if you don't know how to use it and you're not, you're not ready for it. But I think I've learned over the past few months just how to use it and trying to use it in the right way and just being careful of everything I'm doing and really, really being cautious. And like I said, I just want to use it in the right way and uh, hopefully just encourage people. Do you think everyone continues to sit out? Is that something you would ever consider? No, no. You're kind of the face of college football now. I mean, you're embracing that? Yeah, I mean, like I said, just not trying to think about that stuff too much. Because, I mean, it really doesn't matter as far as for me. You know, I mean, for other people, they might see me as that. But, um, you yeah, know, doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect anything here. I mean, so. You yeah. don't perceive yourself as that? No. No. Mm -mm. That would be said that he would be a major proponent of minor league You would have that option out of high school. What, what would you have thought about? Um. You mean just going straight from high school to like a yeah. developmental? Mm -hmm. I personally, I, I don't think I would be interested in that. I think it's just a different experience getting able to go to school with guys your age and be able to go through this experience of being in college. And, you know, it's a grind, you know, balancing school and football and all that stuff. But getting to meet new people and make friends outside of football, I think it's I think it's really important to do. And uh, that's one reason, I mean, it's, it's cool that People that are playing football, they have to stay for three years. You know, other sports, they can like basketball, they can leave after a year. I think it's it's good. I mean, we have to stay three years at least, and we get to make a lot of friends and experience a lot of cool things. So I definitely love you know being in college. Does you that like help that you role? also for football to you stay for three years, maybe develop mentally and physically as well? Yeah, I mean, men, developing mentally, mentally, physically, and just enjoying the time. You know, I think it's important. A lot of people just try to rush that time, but uh, just try to enjoy every every second of being here. What did you learn that you have to stay three years? Definitely, yeah, I think it's a good one. What did you learn from the intramural basketball situation? Just that everyone's <laughs> watching you, everyone's paying attention to everything you do because yeah. of who you are. What did you learn from Yeah, that I mean, I think everything is just a learning experience. And, you know, you could say you kind of wish you'd handle something differently. And, I, you know, I do. But, uh, like you said, everyone's watching. And I just got to be smarter than that. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, like playing a game, it gets competitive. That's how it is. And me and him, we shook hands afterwards, you know. So it gets blown out of proportion. But I got to know just because it's me, it's going to get, you know, put everywhere and, and made a big deal. So I just need to be smarter than that. Not just that game, but I guess intramurals and uh, you know, Coach <laughs> Green said it's kind of a show going out and watching everybody. What yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's been crazy. Intramurals awesome. Everyone's looking, everyone looks forward to it right before it, it comes up. And everyone's, a lot of the team's playing. So. It's a lot of fun getting out there and, and playing basketball, just having some fun on the weekends. It's, it's fun. How good are Justin and too? Really good. They're on the same too, which the same. They're on the same team too, which sucks for anybody <laughs> playing them. So they're really good. And Dre and Cornell and all of them are on the same team. So uh, yeah, they're they're good. I heard they lost though. Somebody did. Beat them. They did. We had a guy, We had a team full of a bunch of walk-ons. Uh, Pat Fibbs, Steve Sawicki, Elijah Turner, a bunch of those guys. Uh, Peter Cody, they, they hit a buzzer beater and beat him a few weeks ago. So it was pretty funny, though. Training a bunch of threes, I guess? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Some shooters. Everybody good? Yeah. Good? Thank you, Charlie. Right, Thanks,